All right, let's talk oil pastels. So same thing, grab your oil pastel technique sheet, uh, grab a sheet of newsprint to work on because pastels are really messy, and uh, get yourself some pastels. I've got this Marin Crepra Expressionist. They're awesome, there's a lot of different colors in there. Um, pick yourself out just some to uh, try this with. All right, so I've got some tips down here and each one of these is described. I'm gonna start them right now. So heavy pressure blending um, is where you apply pressure and you color with multiple pastels. So just like the watercolor pencils, uh, the pressure that you apply on the pastel matters. So if you go really light, you're gonna get a light value. If you go really dark, you're gonna get awesome uh, blending and mixing, okay? So one thing about pastels that you need to know is that they are more like paint and less like crayons. Even though they look like a crayon, they're really more like paint. And I want you to think about them like paint. They're meant to be blended, they're meant to be mixed. Okay, so heavy pressure mixing or blending, you can see that right here. You can mix different colors together. All right, uh, light pressure blending. Kind of self-explanatory, but you're gonna go with a really light pressure on the pastel. You're gonna get a little bit more texture, and you're not just gonna use one color, you're gonna use a few colors. So for each one of these techniques, you'll notice that I choose more than one color, and I'm gonna blend them together. It doesn't have to be like drastic, I don't have to pick a red in here or anything like that, but I am blending and mixing. So it's light pressure blending, okay? Um, stippling, small choppy strokes. No, you still blend, so I start with this. And I'm gonna go over the top with another color. Small choppy strokes. This would be um, for something where you wanna create texture. An area where you don't want the color to be flat. So what I'm doing is I'm building up the pastel. So lots of layers. You're gonna hear me say that a lot and you're gonna get sick of me saying it, but it's true. Layer, 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 your pastels, okay? So that's stippling, kind of cool texture it creates. So scumbling is kind of a weird word, but basically it's controlled scribbles. So you can go round to create texture like this. You know, you can do little, X's or V's or whatever, but you still blend, so I wouldn't just leave it like that. I would go back over the top, kind of create more texture. Oh, this might be crazy, I'm gonna try it. So I'm still blending, but I'm blending in a different way. Doing scumbling. Okay, um, color mixing is so just blending two or more pastels. There's lots of ways to do this. You could do a gradient where you go dark to light. Um, I'm gonna try this peach color, salmon color. And then I'm gonna overlap maybe with this one. A little bit, I'm lightening up the pressure. Ooh, that's kind of a weird combo, but I'm going with it. Okay, so that last layer I went pretty light. So that's color mixing. And Scraffito is pretty fun. You can um, put down a layer of pastel first. So you can blend this, it doesn't have to be one color. It's kind of thick. And then you're gonna put another color over the top. That wasn't too dark. And then you're gonna take um, something to kind of scrape away a design. So this is like a craft stick that you could use. Um, there's you know other things that you could use. You could scrape away a design or a pattern or texture, or you can like draw into this if you'd like to. Okay, so that's oil pastels. Let me know if you have any questions about this. This is my two finished sheets. Um, so you can see some of the finished ones. Good luck.